Welcome, everybody, to Remod. Yesterday, there were a lot of suggestions on how to, well, basically fix all of our issues. So I've gone ahead and implemented some of them, but they have come at a pretty significant cost. So, for example, the Tetra Slug, everybody was saying, well, firstly, there were a few comments saying, build more batteries, don't have enough batteries to store all the power. And I disagree with that, because our batteries are never full anyway. Um, but more importantly, said that if we put the Tetra Slug, obviously, limit it to a tiny little area, which I have done now, if I can click on it and show that off. I've given it a tiny little zone, obviously, adjacent to the batteries there. That is giving a significant amount of power. However, the downside to that is that we now have to feed the slug a ridiculous amount of food. Because it can't get out and obviously get its own food anymore. Which means our cook can't keep up with both the kibble demand and the meals demand. So what I'm kind of hoping is we can recruit... One of these goblins had... Um, yeah, 12.46 cooking. Hopefully when we get this guy on board, it won't be such a big deal. But for the time being, to keep the power grid online using the Tetra slug, we have to sacrifice... Time spent doing anything else besides cooking meals with Upsa. So he's I, I basically forced him to do some meals just getting ready in reserve for when those run out. Because the second everybody wakes up, those meals are going to last all of about two minutes. So I've got him doing that overnight. I'll go ahead and I'll cancel that when he's finished this last designation. It's kind of uh, it, it's kind of removed one problem and replaced it another. That we've, we've got a decent amount of power now. The downside to it is we haven't got enough goddamn meals. So we'll see. Oh, good. Oh, great. Okay. Um... Upsa, Pain, and Delta. Eugene is fine, though. Uh, Eugene is obviously one of our prisoners. Don't really care about that. Got worms. So remember what I was saying about not having enough food? Yeah, it turns out that's just got a lot more significant. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, well, we'll deal with that as it goes along here. Uh, in regards to a lot of people are upset about me smelting down the plate armor as well. The plate armor is just not practical. It's a minus 0 0.8 to movement speed. It's massive. Like, it, it, it would undercut the rest of everyone else's job so significantly that it's not worthwhile. Plus, if we want more plate armor, we can just craft more plate armor. I mean, besides that, though, everybody besides Smooth Octopus, Pain, and Loathing have some sort of marine armor. It wasn't worth keeping them around. Let's put that even more into perspective. We smelt down all that plate armor, all those weapons, all that spare gear. We've got 84 steel left in storage as well. Now, to help deal with these mechanoids, I have churned out a few more... I have churned out a few more shells, ready to go and see if we can destroy what's left of that. I want to see if we can not only destroy the mechanoids, but I want to see also if we can get those elephant carcasses relatively soon. Now, it is minus three degrees, so they're frozen, so there's no real rush, but I would like to try and disarm this as soon as possible as well. Um, Comment just says, two more shells will take that down. So I'll let Delta do it by herself, because she's got the 18... Yeah, so she's got basically 18 intelligence there, so we'll just let her... Deal with the last of this stuff. Why don't we go ahead and have her aim at the turret next to it? Because not, I think she'll be able to destroy the turret and the climate adjuster with another shell there. Um, then what do we want to kill? I mean, I want to grab all of this stuff. If we could bait the centipedes over to come and attack us, that would be fantastic. But obviously, they're not intent on moving. I also don't want to shell this area because I feel like we're going to lose a lot of resources doing that. Um, well, that's a shame that you couldn't have hit the friggin' slugger turret. That's all right. Um... I mean, this is minding its own business, but again, to get to the elephants, we are going to have to take this one out too. I think we're honestly just going to have to rush down the centipedes. Now, it's pointed out to me that the laser weapon that I had, uh, that, that I had them unequipped, the, the laser weapon actually does 66% armor penetration, which is absolutely insane against mechanoids. It does burn damage, sure, but it, it is able to, to cut straight through their armor. So we've gone for that one. The gorse rifle, though, I had a look at that, does 90% armor penetration. So Smooth Octopus alone might be able to deal with the rest of these mechanoids here. Um, right, how many shells have we got left? We've got five shells left. All right, I'm not going to make any more shells after this. We'll make some for stockpile, but I'm not going to make any more specifically for this raid because we've already invested enough steel into it. Let's see if she can hit some of these mechanoids. Just see if we can... Oh, God, it's going to be so risky. Go. Is she going to lead? Oh, my God, she actually did hit. It, it did 66.3 damage, but that's barely done any damage to it. I'm not too worried about that, then. Let's not, let's not concern ourselves with taking out the centipedes with mortars. We'll send our people in. What I will do is we'll start disarming the last of the turrets... Then we can just face him in a... We could send um, Sharamus in with his pain stick that apparently went missing as well. God knows where that ended up, but I can't find it anywhere on the map. It's like it's just despawned or something like that. Um, yeah, I, I've absolutely no clue where that has ended up. But I will try... I'll, 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 again, I'll, I'll give another search for it, but God knows where that's gone. Um, instead... Oh, you know what? I bet someone probably has picked it up and put it in their backpack. That happened before when all those uh, weapons went missing. Rose had them all in her in her inventory, or not. No, I genuinely think it might have despawned. 
That's alright. We'll find another weapon for Sharamus, and then we'll send him in to go and get into melee combat with the mechanoids. That should save us a little bit of time and effort. Please, if you're going to shoot this, don't blow up the advanced component. What's she doing? There we go. Okay. Right. We're ready for an attack on them now, I think. So I'm thinking, why don't we send... Uh, why don't we send those five to go and fight the... Actually, we could send Pain as well, but obviously Pain is not really very armored compared to absolutely everyone else here. Um, have we got anything for you? Uh, we've, got a, we've got a flak vest. It's not ideal, but it is better than nothing here. Let's go ahead and put that on. I'd love to start getting some helmets produced as well, but again, we've got absolutely no steel. You can make plasteel helmets, but it's quite expensive. Um, maybe, oh, yeah, you know what? Should we just wait for Upsa to stop being a babby and we'll send absolutely everybody in? I think that's probably a better idea. So why don't we also give Sharamus... What, what's his... His shooting also isn't too bad. Um, I was thinking we could always give him... We could always give him a, a ranged weapon on top of that. So you've got wooden warhammer... Which might not be too bad to try and fight the mechanoids with. What is that? 6.82 melee DPS. Oh, right. So the acts are much better already. Uh, 6.71, 6.04, 7.3 is, I think, going to be our strongest. Whoa. Wooden Mace of Possibility. Oh, look at that. 1.25 melee damage multiplier and in our higher hit chance. Right. So the Wooden Mace of Possibility, of all things, is our best weapon here. All right, let's go ahead and get that equipped and see if we can lay down some damage. All right, that'll do it. I want to take advantage of this right now. Because Upsa hasn't cooked any meals, obviously, for however long he's been wandering around in sadness there. We could have someone operate an EMP mortar. Um, although Delta's got one of the best weapons. I'm going to leave Watsit here to operate some EMPs. Stun the centipedes. Hopefully we can get in and destroy them before they put up any counter resistance. So what is that? EMP on the bottom one. Get Watsit onto there. Good luck. Everyone else, let's take this slowly. And wait for... We want to get as close as we can. Oh, there is a bullet shield up as well, don't forget. Um, okay, let's get in there. Assassination request. I think the centipede has seen us. It looks as if he's... Yeah, moving over, moving over. Okay. You guys run down here. Oh, I completely forgot about Sharamus. Never mind. Um, oh! Be careful, be careful, be careful. Okay, bullet shield is in effect. And they're actually hiding behind it. That's quite annoying. Right, what's it? How are we looking on... Shell loaded. What's he aiming at? Hopefully he's going to aim at that centipede right there. Uh, it's kind of difficult to tell. I'm going to reset it, even though this is probably inadvisable. I'm just going to reset it to hopefully swap things around there. Come on, get it, get it down. What's it? Any time now. Boom. Direct shot. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic work. These guys should now be able to deal with this without it. Oh, God, the bullet shield. Get in there, get in there, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. No, what's it? You need to stay there. That's right. Oh, so if you could actually come inside the shield. There we are, there we are. Where's the other one? All the way down there. Come on, take him down, take him down. Oh, God, this is unbelievable. Uh, turn off friendly fire. Maybe that's why they can't. Why is she not firing? Um, is that outside of minimum range? Uh, oh, she's vomiting. Right, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Look at this thing. Good God. We've quite literally powering it with everything we've got. Okay, there we are, there we are. Right, now you guys run down here. Stay inside the bullet ship, but let's get behind some cover here before we get ripped apart. Uh, this one's only at 24%, though. It might be a waste to fire another... It would it would have probably been a waste to fire another EMP shell anyway. Um, what was that? Oh, God, please don't tell me I missed a turret. Is there one amid all those trees that I've missed? Oh, my God, there fucking is. You... Oh, it's underneath a chunk? Well, that's not fair. <laughs> There's no wonder I missed it. Okay, um, let's just line up roughly behind these rocks in this cover and just give it hell. Probably inadvisable, uh, but it's not far off of being dead. Yeah, there we go. Okay, perfect. Um, Richard with the Nepo Empire chains from minus 100 to minus 67. Why do the Empire now like us more? That's a bit peculiar. Look at all this meat we've got. All this meat, all these mechanoid components that we can grab up as well. Very nice. Uh, and who took some damage? Upsa took a slight shot in the shoulder. Delta took a slight shot in the torso. She is also pregnant. Very dangerous fighting death pots when you are... When you're expecting. Okay, let's go ahead and get all these elephants hauled urgently. Um, we'll get the centipedes moved back as well. Let's just take all of this. Just take all of it now. I was, I was going to say, should we prioritize com certain components over others? But no, let's just take the whole fucking thing. I'm going to let them eat a load of raw food. Because obviously, Upsell went, uh, went on his mental break down there. So now we are... Yep, I thought this was going to happen. I'm going to give them a complete day of, of rest. Just a day of pure recreation, doing absolutely nothing at all. They will fulfill recreation, then they'll just go and do work anyway, so it won't be too much difference. But I want to make sure everybody's in good moods, because we have, with, after the harvesting, the organ harvesting, we've definitely put ourselves in a bad situation for 
mood in general. That and the now distinct lack of food through the colony. Oh, good. Pork hit the age of 55 and now has a bad back to follow suit. That's fine. He's, he's part of the Cyber Orc program. Eventually, we'll get him a new Cyber Spy anyway. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So, this is great because the buildings that we set to build yesterday have finished. I did assign the new workers at the... Uh, as I was setting up the episode today. So, those guys have the maximum profit again. Look at this. 2,300 from that one. 1,755 from the other two settlements as well. That's a ridiculous amount of taxes we've got coming our way. I'm thinking, how do we want to go about this? Because we have still, as I recall, the... Oh, it's just run out. Damn. I was going to say we still have the Wanderlust thing so they can set up settlements for half the cost. Shall we turn one of the settlements into a tithe settlement right now? The question is, which one do we want to go for? We could turn Lobo into a tithe settlement, uh, or Lobo into a tithe settlement, and turn that into... So that would cost us, I assume that would cost us 2,308 to keep running rather than gaining the profit. Um, but of course, these two other settlements will more than keep up for it. The downside to that one is, though, we haven't tailored that one for tithing. It would be better if we were to take this one, for example. We've got the quarry of the migrant housing. It would be better if we were to build the tithe buildings here instead. So, um, for example, these ones, plus 20 tithe modifier um, and, and whatever else there is going on here. Maybe that'd be a better idea. Uh, I assume the public market. Yeah, that one also gives the tithe modifier building. What about this one? Plus 10. What if we... Surely, surely there's a... Surely it'd be best to... I honestly don't know the best formula for this. Obviously, we're going to have to do some messing around with it. They've given you three tithe buildings. Is it better to build exclusively tithe buildings in a settlement? To, uh, to to get the most resources out of it? Or is it better to do what we've been doing? Try and get the most workers and the best bonus to the resource. Then tithe that afterwards. I have no idea. Um, what's this estimated profit is? Oh, right. Because you also have to pay for the costly worker. Um, you know what? Let's turn this one into our tithe building then. So what have we got? We've got the rivers and warehouse. That gives plus... That gives plus 20 and a plus 5 base tax. Um, we've got the public market that gives a plus 15 tithe modifier. We've got the trading post that gives a plus 10. Um, well, in that case, I guess we build the Rimazon Warehouse. And I guess we build the market in that case. Um, those have got to be the best, right? The public market was, yeah, plus 15. And then we'll turn this one into a tithe base instead. Oh, so it actually not only costs... Uh, not only does it cost, but it also has a little bit more cost on top of that. So not only do you lose your profit, but you have to spend a little bit more to keep it running. Okay, fair enough. We'll see how much the resources they drop off are worth to see if this is worthwhile. But, I mean, it's, it is... it is Even if it doesn't kind of translate one-to-one -one in terms of the value of the items we get out of it for the amount of what gold we put in, we've also got to bear in mind we're paying for the convenience here. We don't have to wait for trade ships to turn up. We don't have to strip mine an entire mountain. If it is less steel than what we would normally pay at market value, but it's every five days, you know, on, on demand... That's probably worth it. People in Discord as well are also asking me to see the wealth graph. Um, sure, let's take a look. Uh, I, it's definitely a wealth graph. I, I can't argue with that. Yep, numbers numbers go brr. Um, what are we looking at here? So we had obviously a massive spike following that raid. I assume that's a Blue Moon Corporation raid. Yep. That one gave us the massive spike with the power armor, with the obviously much more powerful weaponry. But since then, we've started to obviously smelt everything back down into its raw resources. Because that's a bit more useful, in my opinion. Uh, tax has been, tax has been delivered. Where are they? How much have we got? 1,864. That's quite good. Bear in mind, that wasn't even the lion's share. We still got the two other settlements coming in. Sorry, why are we, are we still not cooking food? Is it, is that what's happening here? Sorry, up. So what the fuck are you playing at? Attempted to recruit Eugene. Ah, that might explain a lot. Let's take you off of, uh, off of Wardening. You can't be trusted here. Um, or... Yeah, no, let's take him off of warning. Sod that. You, you can't be trusted. Go over here. I'll also change it so butchering is no longer the top priority. Because honestly, as nice as the Tetra Slug is, I would rather our people didn't have to eat raw meat because the Tetra Slug's getting all of the chef's attention. Also, why are they eating raw meat when we've got 110 bars of chocolate in the stockpile? What? <laughs> what is wrong with you people? Anyway, I'll change the... Um I changed the bills here, at least until we get a second cook, so that simple meals take precedent, then we'll do lavish meals, then we'll do fine meals, just to round it off there. Um, but this way, we're ensuring that we've always got a nice stack of meals, so that they aren't going to be just sitting there eating eating whatever. I, d I just don't understand it. Why the raw meat rather than the chocolate? Anyway, um, that should keep us going for a couple of days. I'll take him off of... 
prioritize him. Okay, I'll let him do one more, and then we'll take him off for prioritize work. Oh, that, and he's got gut worms, too. There's no wonder we have no meals in storage. Oh, an artifact dealer. Cool. Okay. This could be a big deal. Um, t No pun intended. But obviously, we're waiting on the last of our settlement taxes to still turn up. How long till they get here? Uh, 0 0.3, 0 0.5 days. Let's let those turn up. Actually, let's go and see what he's got to start off with, because we might have enough dollar to already... To already buy some nice artifacts, whatever those happen to be. Let's see. Um, you have some very fancy stuff. Uh, I'll take disinfecting amplifier. Oh, enchants the item with an infusion. Very cool. Um, of course, I got some shot lances there. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Thrombo horn, I'm not too interested in here. You can have all this crap. Um, let's go ahead and sell him all this extra stuff. Obviously, you want to smelt down these, so I'll hang on to those for the time being. Uh, the steel battle axe of ice. Whoa. Oh, it doesn't do, like, ice damage or anything. Okay, it just makes the axe more comfortable in a cold temperature. Well, that's great to hear. Um, right, what have you got for me? What, what fine artifacts have you acquired? Uh, long wave radio. That actually might be worth picking up. What's an ultra screen television? Ultra screen television. Um... Uh, what was the recreation gain on that? Blah, blah, blah. Recreation type television. 160%. Now, mega screen televisions are the best in the base game. That's also 106%. Got it. Why, why would you ever go for the ultra screen rather than the regular one, then? Um, what's been, what's been installed? I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to buy a couple of long wave radios. These are... Oh, I guess we could probably just craft ourselves, couldn't we? Uh, is there anything here worth grabbing? Maybe some rugs. Their, their rugs are actually quite small. Um, uh, sorry, quite, quite cheap in price. Marble relief, really? Uh... A Josepho, a Josepho Artigazia Wool Grand Rug Normal. I guess we just put it on the floor and it improves with the... Uh, oh, look at that one. Uh, a large Royal Thrombo Okay, let's buy a couple of these then. Just because I assume it will make the rooms look a lot nicer. Might make our people a little bit happier. Let's go for something like that. Perfect. And we've got more taxes on route anyway, so even it, it doesn't really matter even if it isn't the... Oh, that's horrible. Where am I supposed to install that? That's horrendous. How day. Um... Well, let's put one down in the TV room. Why not? And then let's put another one down in the recreation room somewhere. Oh, God, I hate it. Uh, let's put it around the billiards table. All of this looks horrible. There's nowhere I can put this to make it look nice. I'm so sorry. At least there, it's like the, the, the billiards table has stood on top of it. Good Lord. What a what a waste. Okay. Where are my, where are my taxes here? Um... I'm not going to buy anything else. Run that would just be nice done when they're coming in. You know what? It doesn't look too bad. More importantly, it gives 410 beauty without actually taking up any space in the room. So this room is is gone up probably quite significantly. Um, yeah, luxurious. 1,300. What? Uh, sorry, 13,279 there. Um, press E 4.83. Oh, good. Okay, so they've got a really nice rec room. That should be helping out their mood. Um, somewhat impressive. Very impressive rec room. There we are. Okay, good stuff. And then, obviously, Space Zero, Recreation, Satisfied, yada, yada, yada. Very nice. Oh, we're up to high expectations, though. The wealth has got a little bit out of hand. Thank God we smelted all that crap down. Otherwise, we would be in, uh, in a pretty bad situation. What's everyone doing right now? Taking apart the mechanoid thing, I assume. Yeah, deconstructing all the steel walls, bringing that into the base. 523 steel. I would love to start researching some more of the, some more of the furniture. Trying to make this base as luxurious as possible. I mean, we've got our deep drills. We could start using that. Let's put the let's put the research benches back on. I wonder why they weren't carrying on with that. Oh, they got rid of that quite quickly, huh? Right, let's get all this steel hauled. Let's get the chunks hauled as well. 29 steel slag chunks. Very nice. At least try and get some of the money back that we spent on... Or some of the steel back that we spent on the ridiculous amount of mortar shells we fired in their direction. Okay, good stuff. We've got... Look at that. 3,009... Is that all of it? Oh, there's still more to be bought in. Wow. That's like 4,000, 4,341 taxes from our settlements. This is insane. So the tithe settlement takes up 2,000, but Lobo obviously profits that. We're still turning a ridiculous amount of profit. We're still getting 4,000 per tax season, and then obviously 2,000, that's going back. 2,000 profit plus a load of resources. This is incredible. After smelting down and collecting just about every piece of steel on the map, we're up to 1,816. We've also got 26 components in storage. We could go for a couple of different routes here. We could go for more base defenses, a um, few more mortars, few more turrets, that type of thing. Mechanized armor axe would, of course, allow us to min-max the work versus defense in regards to the clothes that they're wearing. Obviously, try and avoid the movement speed debuff from the crazy amount of fucking power armor we're wearing right now. Alternatively, we could go for something like the advanced beds, which are under somewhere. Uh, there we are. The ergonomic double beds, which are components of wood. 
I think I'd rather, like I've said before, cut out the middleman. So I'm going straight for space of furniture here, um, which we're already halfway done with. I'd rather just build this really, really good endgame stuff. Now, the cool thing about this is, like I said, with the tables, those will allow us to gain recreation as they do things like sit around and eat meals. The chairs will also give recreation gain. They've got some, some extra weird stuff in that, be those radios or whatever else. Just for the passive recreation, that means that we can focus on more time working from that. So even if they're wearing the power armor, I think... This is the best way to go. They'll, st they'll still be able to do more recreation. They'll still be able to do work. They'll still be able to spend less time doing recreation because it's already done while they say eating their breakfast means we don't have to waste so many resources constantly swapping out clothes. Does that make more sense? We will try and get both done. Um, but this, I think, we're very much killing two birds with one stone, making the base more luxurious. And we're dealing with the recreation cost, which in turn means they can do more work. Okay. Oh, wait. We got more um, Got more of our mutant stuff. We've got two mutant arms there. Helatos, you were our mutant project, weren't you? Um... You've got a mutant eye, you've got a mutant arm, mutant leg. Uh, you've only got one mutant eye. We've got one mutant eye, yeah. How about a second mutant eye? Uh, put that in his left eye, then. Uh, have we got anything else worth... You've got another mutant leg. Uh, he doesn't have a right leg mutant leg. Okay, take that one as well. What have we done to this poor man? It's just a complete mash of, like, <laughs> mutant flesh and technology. And then with the steel that we've got as well, why don't we go for a ground penetrating scanner. Put that somewhere convenient but safe. Can we get it, like, here? Uh, that's not too bad, is it? Okay, we'll drop that one there. Uh, actually, we could put it out. Oh, no, it's still under a roofed area. Although that probably works a little bit better. Okay, let's drop it there. Uh, a bit more convenient to the lab area. And then we'll start looking for, as long as we've dealt with our steel issue, I don't mind investing into weird stuff like the furniture. More importantly, I want to start on the Bionics project soon. I want to start making the Cyborgs as soon as possible. There you go, Halatos, you creepy little mutant boy. Uh, okay, I worked successfully. Now she's going to go for the leg as well. This guy is just going to be a complete, a complete mess. Now, I carried on building the Adventure Guild. I have a secret secondary task for this playthrough. And that is quite simply to build as many settlements as we possibly can. I want to cover every map tile with a settlement if possible. You, you guys want to see an empire, right? I want to see an empire. And I feel like it, if it's just guaranteed profit with no downsides, this is going to snowball out of hand so goddamn quickly if we cover every single map tile. Uh, obviously, we can't have them adjacent, so we'd have to be very careful about planning here. But I want to see that symbol across the entire continent. Obviously, we'll have to deal with some of, the, uh, so, some of our enemy settlements here. Um, but the more silver we've got coming in, of course, the more resources we can tie, the more resources we've tied, the more artillery we can afford. We just annihilate people from a distance at that stage. Full-blown nuclear weapon project funded by the people in the mining camps. Tetra slug. It does nothing. I'm, I'm glad I didn't build more batteries in hindsight because it really was not necessary at all. Come on, Mr. Tetra slug. I believe in you. Turns out even he can't beat minus 2,000 watts a day. Holy shit. Obviously, it's just that. It's just a nighttime issue there. Okay. Uh, so, the ground cream penetrating scanner is set up. I have told them to scan when all the research is finished. So, I might let them... Or I might let what's it specifically go ahead and work on that. Now, as for their schedule, I've, I've put it back. I've been a bit more generous with things, though. So, I've given them two hours of recreation in the morning and then two hours in the evening with... What is that? Like, eight? 10? Is that 10? 11 hours? Something like that. Um, of work in the background there. Oh, it was 10 hours of, uh, 10 hours of work in between. Should keep everybody decently happy. Everybody's moods are incredibly good. Let's see how this works then. Um, so random find interval 0 0.7 days and then a guaranteed find. Oh, okay, I see. Is there any way to increase the random interval chance then? Let's see how expensive this new furniture is. 30 steel like components, that's fine. So what we're going to do is drop down... Oh, we can put out limestone too. Cool. Uh, have we got plenty of limestone? Let's take a look. Uh, 345 limestone. Fantastic. Let's put down a couple of limestone interactive tables then. So that means as they eat their dinner, their, or anything, they're going to be gaining recreation passively. The advanced beds require 10 uranium and 2 advanced components. Holy shit, I wasn't expecting that. Good God. Um... Now, I assume these end tables can stack up with... Do you think they will stack up with the other end tables there? Also, do they make any difference at all? What, what are the difference between these and the regular end tables? Um, power consumption, uh, blah, 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 blah. Cover effectiveness. Does it not have, like... Does it not have comfort bonus? Market value, cover effectiveness, mass, terrain requirement, construction skill, beauty, flammability, nothing. Um, I assume they, they 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 count as the same thing as our as our regular end tables. What did you just build? 
A masterwork dining chair, which is only used for when what's it is scanning. Absolutely incredible work. Um, we've got ergonomic chairs, but now we go for the advanced chairs. Those use components. That's why I was trying to count the components that we had earlier. Um, so these will be just pure luxury. These are only really good if you are spending a very long period of time on them. So the research benches should definitely have these. The, uh, the, the, the crafting table, the manufacturing, what the hell is this thing called? Fabrication bench, there you go. Should have one of those as well, because they're going to be sat there for quite a long time, especially if we're bulk making massive amounts of components. That would come in very handy. Pork, whenever you're ready, let's get these things built and deal with, uh, deal with that. I think the advanced beds are very good. I don't think I'm willing to spend two advanced components per bed yet. That's after we've got our tithe coming in. Obviously, we need advanced fabrication too before that really becomes viable. We could put down some regular ergonomic beds. Oh, man, it's a big component cost, though, isn't it? Ah, some steel. Okay. Um, oh, that's really fucking practical. Really? Oh, for fuck's sake, you're kidding me. So not only does it... So it just pings anywhere randomly on the map. I was thinking at least it would be in an accessible area. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right. Um, so let's go ahead and put down a deep drill. Is that the only... Oh, that's the only thing we know about. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well... I guess we'll, um, we'll hope for something better next time. What's it? No pressure? Oh, no. Uh. Drop pods? They're attacking immediately. Where are they? Oh, they're coming in in drop pods. Okay, then. Uh, battle stations, everyone. No pressure? Good lord. Um. What the hell is everyone doing? Someone's still leaving the base at Sharamus. Uh, defense, he's not even drafting up. God knows why. Okay, um. Well, this could be interesting. What are we up against? Uh, okay. No, that's fine. Charge miniguns. Uh, some sort of basic modified laser shotgun. <laughs> okay. Um, now might be, now is not the time for fear. That comes later. Let's get on these, let's get on these mortars. Um, let's at least send a few high explosive shells their way, huh? Um, actually, who have I sent to get on the bottom one? You got on this one instead. Shit. Well, this could be a complete state. Good luck, everyone. I'm not optimistic. Not optimistic. Uh, Loathing, please get your shotgun out, for fuck's sake. Where are they? At least they're coming through relatively staggered. Okay, here we are. Good start, good start. Okay, a good amount of damage there. Not, not fantastic, but not terrible. Wait, they're taking cover? I was not expecting that. Oh, God. Good luck, child soldiers. You're up against quite a lot there, chief. Um, we're not firing with these. Maybe they did fire. Now would be a great time. Now would be a really great time if you could... Uh, go, 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 fire, fire, fire. Go, 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 fire. Whenever you're ready, anytime soon. That would be great. Fucking phenomenal. You are a... I hate you both. I hate you both. What was that? Did you have a, a large child-sized explosion there? Um, <laughs> fuck. Pork, what are you doing? Move south. Um, look how fast these guys are moving. Also, somehow Loathing and Pain are not getting killed here. I don't know how they've managed it. Um, let's move them into a slightly more preferable position. Sharamus, good luck, my friend. I think this time you might actually be on the on the cusp of, of being completely murdered. I can't believe they're using our own killbots against us there. Good luck, Chief. Oh, my God. Hold the fort. Hold the fort, little Sharamus. What the fuck are they doing? Oh, they're shooting at the turret. I see. They're shooting at the spotlight. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay, here it goes. How's Sharamus holding up? Hey, he's, he's holding up. That's the important thing. What are you aiming at? What are you aiming at? Oh, right. Her there. Good God. I need to manually take control of this, don't I? Because this is a complete state. Okay. Um, you guys open fire now at this person. Let's take them one at a time here. Surely we've got enough firepower to be able to kill them. There we are. There we are. There we are. Now that one. Go. Come on. Good work. Good work. Good work. There we go. Take them one at a time. Good shit. Now hit... This one. We've only got to knock down half of them at the end of the day. How's Sharamus? He's, Sharamus is actually holding the line. The madman. Um, can we move him closer? Yep, move him closer. Get him into get him into melee range. Hauling bot five is dead. Long live Hauling bot five. I don't really care about that too much. Um, we've got bigger fish to fry right now, Hauling bot five, if you don't mind. I guess we'll aim at you. Oh god, here comes some more. Take out the one with the laser shotgun. Come on, come on, come on. We've got a lot of firepower here. We've got a serious amount of firepower. They're fleeing! They're fleeing! Charmus is down. Go, go. Gun these guys down. Gun these guys down. Don't you fucking shoot my camel. Kill them all. Kill them all. Kill them all. Someone rescue Charmus. Uh, where's Rose? Where's Rose? Where's Rose? Where's Rose? 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 Rose?
Sharamus, we, my friends, have just been delivered a great gift in the form of hyperpower weapons and armor. Holy shit. Um, if you can take that guy down. Oh. Mid-tech recharge LMG. Thank you. Um, should we just let them go? Just let them go at this point. Holy shit, then. Okay, let's pick through what we've just ended up getting. Um, hard worker, steadfast. Welcome aboard. That That is music to my ears. Capture? No, strip them first, then capture. Um, who's not injured? Because you guys are being... Well, who's not injured badly might be a better question. Um, four conditions. Bleeding out. Oh, you're bleeding out. Ops has taken one hit. You get, it, you get through here. Okay. Strip and capture this one. Boom. Oh, that's what I like to see. More recon armor. Fantastic news. Um, let's just go ahead and strip them all to start off with. I should strip even the dead ones because we've got the washing machine. Don't forget about that, genius. Okay, let's go ahead and strip and pick our best and favorite prisoners out of this complete stockpile of enemies. Everybody said that Hildegard Merciless was going to rock us. And you know what? That was a powerful raid. But holy shit, we, 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 we held it down. We really did hold it down there. Okay, let's go ahead and get some gear off of you. And there's one dead down there. Strip protein. Okay, who have we got worth capturing then? Um, Iron World Optimist. 20 animals. Say no more. Holy shit. Um, Pork, how you doing, Chief? One condition need tending. Right, so you're capable of capturing some prisoners too. Careful shooter industrious. These guys are so good this time. You're crap. Um, right, let's go ahead and use pork to kill the ones that we definitely don't want to capture. Um, you're going to have to melee attack them to death, unfortunately. They're bleeding out in eight hours. You are insane. Um, you're bad, so we're going to kill you off as well. What about you? Chemical fascination. I cannot be bothered with the, with the micromanagement associated with that. Rose, how are we doing with the treatment? Actually, get to work. Right, pork, if you could take out these ones here, that would be fantastic. Whenever you're ready, good work. Um, let's go ahead and melee attack you to death. So I think it's actually just this person here that I want to capture. Uh, what's it? Capture this one. Good shit. The rest will just uh, we'll just have pork go and finish off. No, 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 no capturing. Only kill. The rest are all garbage. What was protein like again? Um, psychically sensitive, abrasive, staggeringly ugly. Not worth capturing as far as I'm concerned. They've got 17. Oh, wait, that's pork. Um, no, they're garbage. Rubbish. Absolutely terrible. Nice. We've got some good people to capture. More importantly, the gear that we've got from this is ludicrously good. We've just picked up some insanely good weapons. Oh, and then how could I forget Spartak that we gunned down? Um, too smart, greedy, not interested, kill him dead. Pork, you've got some more kicking to do. So the tainted gear, I need to go ahead and suspend the tainted apparel bill. Um, that would be this one. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Allow tainted, that's just for the plate armor, isn't it? We'll wash. I assume you can just throw plate armor, marine armor, whatever, into the washing machine and turn it into full-blown armor again. That thing looks really cool. What is that like? 80% range cooldown on an LMG? Holy shit. Um, and his Spartak, Spartak was not worth capturing, so go ahead and kill those two if you don't mind. Saving them all might be a different matter, though. I think we're going to do it. Incredibly good recruits. We've got incredibly good recruits. I have been maxing them with Watson a little bit here. All that we traded for that was one hauling bot. Absolutely fantastic stuff. We've got a lot of prisoners to worry about, though. This is, this is quite a significant... Sorry, just <laughs> let that motorbike go past. Um, this is a pretty significant gain in terms of the colony. I've got to be careful that we don't overburden our wardens. We've got to be very careful now that we are not opening ourselves up to a prison break. I might even put down some turrets outside the front of the prison, like flame turrets or something like that. Look at this mess. Oh, God, the colony wealth is going to be absolutely insane. Nice. Okay, let's see what resources we're looking at from this. So let's point out that two days later, Pork is still working on the dining room table. Okay, um, settlements then. What have you got for me? Bills, we're looking at tithe. What are they going to send us then? Can I, can I preview that or... Um, desk, 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 bringing taxes to your capital... I guess we'll find out when it turns up. I don't know if there is a way to check en route, but I'm up for the surprise. This better be a good amount of steel, because we goddamn need it. The hell is this? A farmer warning the settlement spot a wounded animal to your capital. It states that it entered the town and refused to leave. The animal looks sickly and on edge. It could snap at any moment. Um, we shall take care of it. Jaw. Uh, your animal remains guarded, guarded in without issue. Uh, sure? 
Uh, what did you what did you just give me? Um, a monkey, a, a monkey or two? I have no idea. Apparently, we're playing CK2 now. What the hell was that? <laughs> oh, that's what we got given. A blizzardous clutch mother. Hunting animal of empire's fear. Um, hello. And it lays eggs every few days. And it's it's tame, more importantly. Uh, hello. Male blizzardous clutch mother laying eggs. I'm not sure that's how that works. Oh, good. Just what I wanted. A giant fuck-off spider. Is it going to lay hostile blizzardisks, or will they be part of the colony? Because if they're part of the colony, we no have the world's greatest breeding program right now. Who needs silver from the settlements when we can just spawn and sell a million spiders? Uh, speaking of which, where are our taxes from these settlements? Let's take a look very quickly, see how far away they are. 0 0.3 days, 0 0.8 days. And how does the tithe work, then? Because that's only two... That's only two lots of taxes. Um... I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. Uh, run me, uh, which which one are we tithing again? That's uh this one, right? Yeah. So where's the tax from you, more importantly? Unless it's already here. But maybe, maybe it already turned up. 2,900. Yeah, it's got to have already turned up, right? 99%. Come on, let's see. Is it a friendly spider? Otherwise, this thing is a massive burden. It's going to shit out a load of angry little spiders into our colony that we'll have to deal with. Um, at which point, we just have to slaughter this thing, unfortunately. Or sell it at the next animal... Animal breeder we can find. Laying egg. Okay, here we go. What are you summoning? What are you, what are you gonna what, what what hatred are you gonna bring on my base? Uh overheating. Ah, okay, it's gonna boil in there. Um oh, because I guess it's a blizzardisk. Right, let's go ahead and haul those urgently then. See if they get moved into the freezer. They should, because they're an egg. Maybe that'll change it. I wanna at least hatch one, see if that is worth worth keeping around in the colony. Speaking of which, where are our taxes? I at least want to see this pull the end of the Taxi on route where? Taxi on route where? Where did, where did they go? Did we get any steel? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where those taxes ended up then. Uh, I don't think our steel has changed at all. I don't think our plastic steel has changed. Did we get sky steel from it? I doubt that. Uh, tax reports. Um, so there's this one. Tithe estimated value, 3,881.25. Okay. Uh, view reports. What did they drop off then? Uh, view tithe. They apparently dropped off 2,000 steel. Did they? <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure that you did. I'm not sure that you did do that. Or maybe we just haven't hauled it into the stockpile yet? Ah, we haven't. Oh, cool. Okay, well, 2,000 steel is obviously massive. Jesus. Yep, the eggs can sit around in the freezer. We'll have to check that tomorrow. We might just end up with a massive burn here in the form of the spider, but welcome. So the only thing left to do now, then, is nuclear power. Then we've got all of our... We've got, basically, recreation dealt with, food is dealt with. Um, we've got a load more people coming to the base that are great because we've been very much picking and choosing the people with the uh, with the good traits, the good stats. We've got good steel coming in. We've got good silver coming in. The only thing that we lack now is still consistent power. The batteries never quite fill up over the course of the day. They get to, as you can see, it's only 8 p.m. now, and they've already drained by a good few. Uh, they've, they've drained by like 15% there. So, fingers crossed, this will be all we need to to see us through. Get the nuclear fission reactor down. I assume we fuel it with uranium or something. Uh, we've got those radiacs, which in theory might be able to counteract some of that. We might be in a great situation. Tomorrow, we try and build a nuclear power plant. In the meantime, thank you all for watching hope you guys have enjoyed this one this has been a uh it's been a it's been a real mixed bag today of, of things that we've done in game we've we've finished off a bit more of the settlement management we've obviously fought a massive raid there hildegard merciless no less this is looking to be this is looking to be pretty fun shout out to chris tom terror 18 sarabee zetlock darth hawk peyton dennisar amethyst corona orksville ben hoffman jonah waters shay gogolus nostrus and everyone else at the insane tier levels on patreon for making the channel possible in the first place Big thanks to these guys, especially this month of 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 all time that we've had the channel going. This this month has been uh, has been obviously pretty rough just due to current events. So shout out to you guys. Thank you for keeping the channel possible. Thank you as well to Zulu, Justin Plot, Llewellyn Thomas, Sega the Chaos King, Jackson P, Alex, Distorted Triangle, Cogzel, Smooth Octopus, Silent Sentinel, Trashbin, Justin Rule, Spirit 85, Betamus Max, and everyone else at Patreon as well for those same reasons. Without these guys, we would absolutely not be here right now. And I would be um, fucked. I'd be, I'd be out on the street uh, wondering why my PC doesn't work. This old crazy Mr. Streamer again and screaming at his computer monitor about 
Blizzard risks in settlement taxes.